All right, so today we are gonna be making one of my kids' favorite desserts. Um, they literally just started soccer this year, and this is something that I actually take to their games as their post-game snack. Now this is gonna be a Rice Krispie treat, but not just any standard Rice Krispie treat. These are gonna be cookies and cream or Oreo Rice Krispie treats. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take about 15 Oreos, put them into your bag, your Ziploc freezer bag, and then just beat the living heck out of them. Now if you wanna get your kids involved, these are an absolutely amazing way to get them involved in the kitchen because all they have to do is make a mess. And like you already know, kids, they do a very good job of that. Once you have most of the cookies broken, we're gonna just have it as that rough, coarse crumble. And we're just gonna make sure that all of those are broken down and we have our first step already done. We're gonna mix this into a bowl with a couple other ingredients just to get ready for our Rice Krispie. And so let's go ahead and grab our big bowl and start incorporating everything together. All right, to a very large mixing bowl, we're gonna be adding all of these wonderful ingredients. So this is one cup of marshmallows, as well as all of our 15 of our crushed Oreos, as well as uh, five cups of Rice Krispies. Now we're gonna go ahead and add it here because the first bowl I picked was just a little bit too small. And I want my kids to be able to help with these type of recipes. So this is giving them a little bit of extra room just to make a little bit of mess, and that's okay if they get a little bit messy. Kids are always gonna be a little bit on the messier side, but you know what, if these are gonna be well worth it and kids are well worth it, so you know what? We're just gonna just keep mixing this all up, try to stay as clean as possible. And what this is gonna do for us is give us a really good mix. See all that wonderful mix there? Now we're gonna take a little piece here just because that's the dad tax, but we'll leave this mix off to the side and get over to the stove so that we can go ahead and melt down our marshmallow fluff. All right, so we're gonna start off with a very large stock pot. This is gonna be used to uh, melt down all of our marshmallow fluff. The first thing we're gonna do is add half a cup of salted butter right into a medium heat stock pot. We're gonna use our spoon and we're just gonna melt around that butter just so that we can get it all nice and melted down. Should melt fairly quickly because we started with softened butter, room temperature. And then very quickly after that, what we'll do is we're gonna go grab our marshmallows. Now, we are doing a lot of marshmallows today and we wanna make sure that we have the ooeyest, gooeyest Rice Krispie treats. And these are our cookies and cream Rice Krispie treats. So we wanna make sure we have enough marshmallow fluff. This is about 30 ounces of marshmallow, so about a bag and a half. And this should be enough fluff for us to get some really, really amazing cookies and cream Rice Krispie treats. So you're gonna constantly stir this down, coating everything in butter. This will help everything in the actual stock pot melt down really nicely. And we're just gonna keep stirring it you can already see those marshmallows are starting to get just glistening ooey gooey, but we want to turn it into fluff in order for us to work through the next part. So you'll see it all kind of coming into a mass, but we really want it to basically form into a liquid. Now, this is like the perfect snack after a soccer game for my kids. We'll do orange slices and all that fun stuff, but if we're doing just something kind of a fun little treat, this is something to you know make the other parents turn their head because it's not just a basic Rice Krispie treat. You can buy this off the shelf. This is homemade and it's super easy. And so we can definitely get this done really, really quick. You can see that marshmallow fluff just coming all right now together. It's turning into one large marshmallow. So as we continue to cook and stir all that butter, it's gonna do that work to melt it all down. Now, while we have a pretty good melting consistency here, I do wanna add about half a teaspoon of salt. And so we're just gonna add that right to the mixture. And then we're just gonna incorporate that in as well. So just keep stirring. You don't want roasted marshmallow fluff. You start to see it browning a little too much. You might wanna turn down your heat. Again, this is just on a medium heat here, so we have some of our marshmallows trying to turn a little bit brown, but if we keep moving it, 
we will start to see a lot better results. And look at that nice liquid marshmallow fluff, that ooey, icky, sticky white stuff, you know, the good white stuff. Yeah, now this is gonna be really good in our mixture here. So we're gonna scrape it off all the sides. It has cooked down quite a bit. All that air has gone out of the marshmallows. And we're gonna go ahead and take it off the heat here because it's starting to boil. We don't want it to burn or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep stirring it for just a little bit here, but I'm gonna take it over to our large bowl, and our large mixture. We're gonna incorporate these all together and finish up our cookies and cream rice crispy. All right, we're gonna take this off the heat and walk on over to our Rice Krispie treats. Now with a large bowl, I went ahead with just that butter wrapper to grease it just a little bit so it's easier for mixing. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of my dry ingredients. So this is our Rice Krispies, our, our cookies, as well as those marshmallows. And I'm just gonna start with just about half and half. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour in a little bit of our mixture. You're gonna see just that really silky marshmallow fluff getting right into the bowl. So start with just about half there. And let's go ahead and start incorporating it in. Now this is gonna cool down pretty quickly, but we wanna start incorporating all of that Rice Krispie Treat together just to make some amazing treats for our kiddos. And you know what? It's not just for the kiddos. This is an amazing treat for all the adults too. I've had plenty of adults when they see this out on the soccer field that they ask their kids to get an extra one just so that they can have a little taste as well. All right, so we got our first one down here. It's starting to turn into one big mass. All right, so we have this glass baking pan that we're gonna just line with a little bit of parchment paper and taking all of our mixture that we just finished just a second ago, uh, we finished it off camera just because it does get a little bit sticky, a little bit hard. And so we just wanted to make sure that we were able to actually get it all nice together in a big clump. And so we were able to accomplish that and we are going to just put it right into the center of that pan. Now, as it's going in, we're gonna go ahead and grab just these last little bits here and just make sure that we incorporate them into our mixture. Now I went ahead and grabbed my spatula. This is gonna be our go-to tool. As we take all of this extra off, realign our baking, or realign our parchment paper, and then start pushing it down in to fit our mold. So we're gonna go really quickly through this because we wanna work with the marshmallow that is still warm. Push it in just a little bit more. All right, look at that. Our Oreo Rice Krispie Treats are absolutely done. So we're gonna let this cool down for about 30 minutes to an hour before we cut and serve it. But this is all ready to go and look how just amazing it looks. I can't wait to taste it. So we'll be back in a few. All right, now that we have our Oreo Rice Krispie Treat completely set, this is cooled down completely. All of our marshmallows are set in place. We're just gonna grab a knife and get a good piece for us. Now you can see it already is cutting through completely different than before where everything was sticky, ooey gooey. We actually have a good thick mixture now that it's all cooled down. We're cutting through, it actually is cutting through like just a firm kind of cake. We're just gonna wiggle out a little bit right here. Perfect. All right, let's get this corner piece. That looks absolutely delicious right here. And so we're gonna pull it out now. Again, this is the reason why we love to use parchment paper. And look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see that Oreo, the marshmallow in there, the Rice Krispie treats throughout. This is gonna be an absolutely fantastic little bite here, but look at that. It plates up so well. Again, you can take this out for any kind of trip for your kids, soccer games, anything like that, and they will sure to be a hit. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. You get all that chocolatey Oreo with all that creamy, gooey marshmallow. Nice and chewy, still crunchy. This is a perfect treat that you need to add to your menu. Mmm.